Drones, once a novelty, are now fairly commonplace in Northeast Ohio skies. You've seen how we use them here at 3 News to get video from a different perspective. We also see them used in public safety. But drones can do a lot more. In today's Mission Possible, Matt Wentz shows us how the drone economy is growing in the skies over Northeast Ohio. Drones are taking off in Ohio. And that's exactly what Manufacturing Works wants. The Economic Development Organization is working on advanced air mobility, taking the local drone economy to new heights. New technology plus increased drone use have made it possible. We're seeing the value of, I really can't task this robot to go do what I need it to do. And that is these things like package delivery, that is scanning and surveying, so a lot of environmental use cases. The use of drones in public safety is surging. Thermal imaging cameras and sound systems make them a good fit. Local safety forces saw how drones could help in different tasks during a recent conference at Kent State. So we'll photo there. AVT drones go to work in accident reconstruction cases. The drone pilot stays safely off a roadway while collecting data that can be used in court. When AVT began using drones back in 2006, they were told it was a crazy idea. Now they've become such a tool to use in your tool bag that it's absolutely like one of the fastest things that you could do, like you said, to get and preserve physical evidence. We know we're getting accurate data, we're getting it quickly, we're getting it safely, and then we can go back and reconstruct anything we want. The drone economy is also at work out in the environment. UA Vistas finds and tracks invasive plant species from way up in the air, giving land managers a clear picture of how effective they are in controlling unwanted plants with a goal of helping them reduce amounts of pesticides that they use. Finding invasive species, identifying them, and tracking them over time. Um, invasive species cause a whole lot of issues, cost a whole lot of money, and right now they're doing damage to our wetlands, which directly impact the health of Lake Erie and algal blooms. Using drones for package delivery has the attention of healthcare providers. How do we move uh, medicines between clinics and hospitals? How do we get services out to people out in rural areas? Add transportation to the list. Air taxis are finally fulfilling the promise of flying cars. Beta is testing their fully electric vehicle in Ohio, based in Vermont. They stop in Akron to recharge before moving on. Beta, of course, has their charging station at Akron Canton Airport, and that's pretty cool. It looks just like another charging station, but it is there, so it's one of their stops as they're moving down to Springfield for testing. An estimated one million drone pilots now operate in the U.S. With more uses being discovered, the market will rapidly change even over the next five years. And Northeast Ohio wants to be up front as it continues to soar. I'm really hopeful, more hopeful than I have been before now. Um, seeing all the different pilots and all the different things that they're doing. Um, I think just about everyone here is doing something different with drones. Matt Wentz, 3 News. And add the Coast Guard to the list of those using drones. The 9th District here in Cleveland uses them for environmental and inspection purposes. And this summer, the drone program is expected to expand to other Coast Guard stations as well.